If Blizzard were to release a console version of the World of Warcraft tomorrow, would you play it? It's an interesting question, and it's something that people have been talking about for many years now. It's always a, a, a really big heated debate. We don't know that anything like this is even going to happen anytime soon. But I've seen some things recently. Number one, some of the footage you're looking at in the background from Bellular Gaming, showing off the new action camera from Legion. This camera changes the focal point to the right of your character, giving your character more depth and giving the world uh, a, a different perspective and a, a kind of a more immersive feel. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I look at this, it, to me, it almost feels like a different game. Yes, I recognize that this is WoW, these are zones, this is a World of Warcraft character. I know where we are and what's happening, but looking at it through this perspective, it, it makes me think of a lot of different I guess console RPGs. It really does. It makes me think of like the Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, a third person perspective RPG or The Witcher, things along those lines. And I think a simple change in perspective, clearly from what I'm looking at here, and it might be different for you guys, but this goes a long way for me. Like this actually gets me excited about the possibility of a console version of this game. You couple that with the the mod controller support that's been out there for a while now and seems to actually be pretty good. I've seen several videos. Here's some more footage from again Bellular Gaming. This guy's all over this topic. <laughs> here's another here's some more footage of how wow on the on the controller would work. Now, if you coupled this compatibility with this new action camera, it really gets you thinking. And I'm also just curious in general, they, they have this functionality in the Legion beta right now, this action camera. Who are they making this for? Really, think about it. They're not making it for the modern competitive WoW player because the competitive WoW player won't play in this perspective if others are available. Of course not. When you zoom back further, you get a better view of what's going on. You can more easily and more quickly respond to your situations, which is very important in Mythic Raiding and it's very important in PvP, of course. Playing like this is not the ideal way to play for the competitive. So who would be playing this? Well, people who are leveling casually, people who are role-playing, people who are making certain footage. There's a market for it in the WoW player base, but really it gets me thinking that they might be seriously considering a console version of the game because this perspective would be perfect for it. Some things would have to change, of course, but this would be this would this would be really great. I hands down would play a console version of the game if it looked like this, if they changed a couple of, they'd have to change some more things, which we'll talk about a little bit later. But I can see value in this. I could see I could see myself enjoying this. Now, when this topic comes up, again, there's a few things that are always brought up. Number one, it you would be playing worse than you could on a mouse and keyboard. Oh, I agree, there's no question. Between, again, being further zoomed out, being able to see better what's going on around you and more specifically behind you, that's a really big thing. Being able to quickly click on things in the environment, mouse over for, for hover over macros for silences and charges and whatever, it definitely restricts your view and it restricts your responsiveness. And it would make it very difficult to compete with people who are playing WoW in the traditional sense, in PvP, and it'd make it hard to do things like Mythic Raiding. But could you do regular dungeons? Yes. Could you level? Oh, of course. Especially with how easy leveling is nowadays. There's some stuff that you could do with this that would work. And another thing that people always bring up is they say, oh, there's too many skills in WoW. Nah, you couldn't do this. There's way too many skills. How can that all fit on a controller? <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, buddy, but there's a game out there right now that has more skills than WoW does per character and is actually succeeding quite well on the console. What is that? Final Fantasy XIV. Especially as time goes on and we continue to prune more and more skins in WoW, Final Fantasy XIV is uh, a hard proof that a PC-based MMO could be ported to consoles even with a ton of skills and still work as a game and still have a thriving player base that enjoys the game. And something else I guess to consider is that if they were to ever do a console version of WoW, it would undoubtedly be its own ecosystem. They wouldn't be playing with us on the PC. They would probably have their own servers and only be playing against other people. That, that's what would have to happen, of course. Because again, I agree. You can't compete playing a game like this versus someone who's playing WoW in what we'll say is the traditional sense. Now, there are some things that will definitely have to change if they were to seriously consider bringing this game to console. And it's not just this new camera perspective and the fact that it would have to be uh, mapped to a controller. They would also need a brand new UI. Because the UI at the moment 
would be too cluttered it wouldn't work on a console most people sit further away from their screens when they're playing console games they're on the couch they're on their bed or whatever versus a pc player who's like two to three feet in front of his monitor so we would need to see a, a, a new ui a more cleaned up ui in fact when i when i watch this footage here once again credit to bellular gaming guys nailing it with this stuff when i see this footage here i actually like really like this the minimal pretty much non-existent UI. Now clearly you'd still need to see some things. You need to see your health. You probably need to see the representation of your enemy's health. And you would need to see some representation of your skills. Something else that I think that they would probably have to also change, um, which just, I don't know how monumental of a task this is, but NPC collision. They would have to add it. When you're playing on mouse and keyboard, strafing through a target makes perfect sense and works. But when you look at combat from this perspective and played on a controller, it, 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 it seems like it would feel a little off. Now, part of me says it, it might not be that big of a deal for them to do. Why? If you didn't happen to know way back when in the beta of the Elder Scrolls Online, there was a time where, where you were able to path through enemies. You could just walk right through enemies like you do in the World of Warcraft. However, after player complaints, people who were familiar with traditional Elder Scrolls games, they added NPC collision, just like that, in a patch. They went from a game where you could walk through enemies to get to the opposite side and turn around and backstab them, to a game that had NPC collision, where you would actually physically bump into their character models. So the fact that they could just flip a switch and do that makes me wonder if it's as simple for Blizzard. But I don't know. I don't, I'm not a developer, so it might be a more difficult task. But I think with this new perspective, with the remapping to the controller, with the changes to the UI, and NPC collision, this would literally play like a different game it would still be wow all the zones would still be the same and the quest everything would still be as we know it today but playing it this way would definitely make a different experience if nothing else and while you could just say well force you could just play like this right now with the mouse and keyboard or you heck you can even use those mods and play like this now with the controller as well i agree but the difference is how that works in the environment of the game and with what other players are doing because if I play like this now, I could do it and I could get this perspective and I could get this different experience. Everyone else around me would be circle strafing me for days and blowing me up. But if everyone's playing the game like this, then it's a much, much different experience. And I think it would be an enjoyable one. And you might say, well, that's silly force. Why? Like, so you're just going to gimp yourself and gimp everyone else? It, I don't view it that way. Think about it like this. Think of StarCraft 2. If you play StarCraft 2 in its normal perspective, top down, you're clicking on things, you're moving around, it almost in some ways plays like Warcraft does, right? You're able to get a huge view of what's going on, you're able to click on things individually, or able to mouse over things, all that stuff. If you were to bring that camera down to third person or first person, a, a much different game. It'd be a much different experience. StarCraft 2 would be very different if you played it that way. In the same way, WoW would be very different. Again, it'd play much more like a Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning or a Witcher or whatever, any third person RPG. And I think there's value to that. I, I think I would enjoy that, no question. And th these topics are also always scary for people who play the current version of games because they don't want to think the design decisions of their game are being limited because of a console player base. And that's a fair concern. You can understand the idea that, hey, future stuff that they work on, they're gonna be keeping their console player base in mind. So does that mean this PC version of the game is gonna be limited as a result? Because they need to account for, for the console players. That's a fair concern and I understand people having that concern. And for some people, that's enough of a reason for them to say they better not put this on console, I'm gonna be pissed. Because then they're going to dumb down all of the raid content. Of course that conversation would happen, right? But maybe they wouldn't have, have to. Because already as it stands, they put raiding content on a scale of difficulties. So maybe they just don't make the highest scale available on console or something. Who knows? Now the ultimate question would be for Blizzard, would any of this be worth it? And that's a tough one to answer. On one hand, this is a 10 year old game. And how many people are going to be super excited about a 10 year old game being ported to modern, modern consoles? But on the other hand, this is a 10 year old game that maybe a large portion of the console player base hasn't played. Now, yes, you can pretty much play WoW on a potato computer. But we have to realize there's a huge portion of the gaming audience out there that doesn't even consider gaming on the PC. They maybe have a laptop that they do for work or school stuff and they don't even think about PC gaming. When they think about gaming, they think of the console. And there could be a big audience for it. And I think if there's ever going to be a time for them to release WoW on console, it'd probably be sometime within the next five years. 
as the game does continue to downtrend in popularity and size. Still the biggest sub-based MMO out there, but it's not growing, it's dwindling. So if there's ever uh, an opportunity for them to capture a, a new market of people who maybe have never played it, or just people who would like to try this version of the game, because I'll freely, freely admit, while I realize that I wouldn't be playing as well as I could be on the PC, I wouldn't be as quick and responsive and aware of what's going on because of the closer perspective and the limited controls, I think playing the game from a new perspective with a different control setup really does make it feel like a different game. It's still the, it would still be the exact same game, but there would be enough of, it'd be enough of a different experience that I would at the very least want to try it and check it out. There's no question. I would. I absolutely would. Blizzard, if you released a console version of WoW, I guarantee you I would play it. I would sub to that. No question. Maybe that's something that they're going to be considering at some point in the future. Anyway, guys, I think it's an interesting uh, topic. I think it's an interesting discussion. And I'd like to know what you guys think about the possibility of a console version of the World of Warcraft and whether or not you would play it. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, guys. As always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.